Hey everybody, it's Rykard here again, back with another black and white Pokemon upgrade. Today, we're going to be discussing some pretty amazing things that Aggron can do this generation. So let's get started. So first off, as you all probably already know, Aggron is a Steel Rock Pokemon, which is some pretty awesome and yet some pretty unfortunate typing, mainly due to the fact that you are four times weak to both Fighting and Ground, which are very common attacking types. Now, normally this is a really bad thing, but with the first set you're going to see in this video, you can see how this typing can actually pay off because of the weaknesses you have with it, but I'll get more on that later. But as for the abilities, you know that it has Sturdy and Rock Head previously, but in the Dream Mode, it gets this really interesting ability known as Heavy Metal, which is an ability that doubles your weight. Now normally, weight isn't really something that's a factor when you're playing online or playing against your friends or whatever competitively in whatever environment you were playing in, but because of the fact that there is a new move introduced into this generation, known as Heavy Bomber, which is based on weight. Heavy Metal is actually a really cool ability to use on Aggron for this reason, and I will show you again that later in this video. But as for the stats, you can see that it is pretty bulky in terms of the defensive side, since it has 180 as its base physical defense. Now, on top of that, you also have some really great attack power to work with, so you can see that Aggron generally is a powerful and defensive Pokemon, not really a Pokemon that's going to be doing a lot of damage to your opponents without taking a lot of hits at the same time. But, you know, it does have access to Rock Polish, which is an, a move that I'm going to be using in one of the sets I have for you today. But just like a short overview of the stats that you can see that Aggron is actually pretty capable of taking physical hits and also pretty capable of dealing out damage as well, but nothing you would normally see it sweep with. But still, you know, it's a powerful Pokemon, and it's one of my favorites due to its design and just being a complete awesome beast-looking Pokemon. But aside from that, let's take a look at a couple of sets that Aggron can definitely use this generation because of new mechanics of abilities and awesomeness that is Aggron. So let's get started with that. So first off, for this set, it's going to be characteristic of what a lead Aggron can be like in this generation. And it's something that it can do really well, I think. But for the nature, we're going to give it an adamant one to be increasing your physical attack, but decreasing your special attack. And then for the ability, we're going to be using Sturdy, mainly because of the new mechanics of it, to which that it acts like a Focus Sash, as opposed to just preventing one-hit KO moves from KOing. So this is very useful, and why I believe the... Um, four times weakness to fighting and ground comes in handy because we're going to be using sturdy to your advantage. But the EVs are going to put 210 into HP to give you some really good HP, 252 into your physical attack to give you your max physical attack possible, and then 48 EVs into speed. And now the 48 speed EVs are there to allow you to outspeed Blissey, but I will explain why you may need to do that in a second. But for the item, we're either going to be using a Custat Berry to allow you to go first on the turn after your hit down to your Sturdy ability, because a Custat Berry is a Pinch Berry that makes it so that when you um, are hit below 25% or less, or yeah, hit below 25% of your health, you will automatically go first on the next turn, barring your opponent doesn't have a priority move. But this is very useful on Aggron, and I will explain that as well. And also you can use a new item introduced into this generation known as a red card, which is a really cool item that pretty much acts as a roar or a whirlwind, because when your opponent attacks you, the red card will automatically switch your opponent out into a random Pokemon on their team, thus allowing you to also see your or see like another Pokemon on your opponent's team but also allow you to deal damage to whatever Pokemon that was switched out to. Um, now, as for the moves, the first one is going to be Protect, and this one is there so that you can see what your opponent is trying to do. Basically, if you know that they're going to try to hit, kill you after you Protect, you can go immediately with Metal Burst in order to take that opponent out, since Metal Burst is the better version of Counter and Mirror Coat because that it um, it is an affected type, whereas uh, Miracoat doesn't work on Dark types and Counter doesn't work on Ghost types. So Metal Burst is great because it deals back damage equal to 1.5 
times the amount of health lost. Now with the 210 HP EVs you have 333 HP so when you're hit down to your sturdy focus sash thing you will be doing a metal burst which is 232 HP times 1.5 which I think is 194 so that's really great or sorry 100, 498 that's what I meant to say so that's really amazing because that can pretty much take out any Pokemon except for like Blissey, Wailord, Snorlax, and Mamambao. So that is really amazing and can allow Aggron to just get rid of a Pokemon right away. Now generally the uh, Pokemon I just mentioned aren't used as leads. So um, what we're going to be doing with this is either using the Custat Berry with Metal Burst to allow you to take out your opponent and then on the next turn they'll have to switch in a new Pokemon because it's dead unless it has a Focus Sash and then with that you'll be using the move Endeavor and since you have the Custat Berry activated you'll automatically go first so pretty much you'll take out two Pokemon right away with this Pokemon well at least the other one will be down to one HP which is really nothing anyways so something can easily come in and revenge kill it afterwards but with this you pretty much have an awesome lead that can take out two Pokemon with Metal Burst and then take the other one down to one HP with Endeavor because of sturdy working for you. Also with this, you can make use of Head Smash as opposed to Endeavor if you want to use a Rock type move. So that's always really great. And now Head Smash does have Recoil, so you will in fact die when you use it but it's still the strongest rock type move that um, Aggron can learn, so that's why it's there. But also with this, you could make use of Rock Slide in your last move slot. And this is mainly going to be used if you're using the red card set, because as I said before, Metal Burst is a move that will take out pretty much any Pokemon if you're hit to your sturdy ability, except for like Blissey and stuff like that. But since Blissey is such a pain in the butt, after um, your, your opponent's lead attacks you and they're switched out into a random Pokemon because of Red Card's ability and you Metal Burst them, Blissey, if it comes out, will still have like 200 HP left. So that's why Rock Slide's there to allow you to finish off the Blissey before it can attack you. And that's why the 48 Speed EVs are there because generally Blisseys don't invest into speed so you will be able to outspeed it and thus take it out. So this is a pretty amazing set and because a red card can be very very useful in allowing you to get a huge advantage on your opponent because the thing they might be switched out into and that takes the metal burst might be the one pokemon on their team that could have seriously countered your team and i mean red card working and you can metal burst into like a garchomp or something like that or possibly one of like the previously uber pokemon that are no longer uber at the moment um, that's just something that is amazing and can really help you out. But also, you know, having Endeavor to work as being able to take out the next Pokemon as well if you're using the Custap Berry is something that's also really great on Aggro this generation. But that is pretty much it for this set, and as you can see, it's very useful for Aggro. Now as for this last set, I made it just to uh, get into the intricacies of what the move Heavy Bomber is and how it works amazingly on Aggro. But for the nature and EVs and things, this is pretty much a standard rock polish set. So we're going to give it a jolly nature to increase its speed but lower its uh, special attack. And then we're going to be using the ability Heavy Metal to double our weight, which I will get to in a second. But for the EVs, we're going to put 4 in HP to give you one more point into that. 252 into your physical attack to give you your max physical attack possible with the jolly nature. And then 252 EVs in your speed to give you your max speed possible. As to the item, we could either go with a Balloon, which is a really useful item on Aggron because it is four times weak to ground, so the Balloon will allow you to levitate and not be hit by ground moves until it's popped by an attack that your opponent hits you with, or you can use a Life Orb to allow you to do more damage with your moves. Now, since this is a Rock Polish set, the first move in the set is going to be Rock Polish to allow us to double our speed and thus be able to um, take out Pokemon from there. Now, Heavy Bomber is a new move introduced in this generation, and it's a physical steel type move that does more damage based on weight. Now, with Heavy Metal as our ability, Agron is the third heaviest Pokemon and is only outweighed by Giratina and Groudon. Um, the way Heavy Bomber works, though, is that 
If your opponent is one-fifth of your weight or less, it will have 120 as its base power, which is, I think, the most powerful Steel-type move that is readily available to a lot of Pokemon. So that's a really cool thing for Agron, and can definitely allow it to be used with its really great attack as well. But if you're curious, there are only 63 Pokemon out of the 649 that cannot be hit for 120 damage from Heavy Bomber. And granted, all of these Pokemon are not fully evolved or useful NFEs in competitive battling, but it means that you pretty much have a really great chance of having a 120 stab steel type attack to use at your disposal, which is amazing on Agron. Now, granted, steel isn't one of the best attacking types in the world, but it's still really cool. But with this, we're going to be using Stone Edge, which some of you might be curious as to why, because Head Smash is the strongest move or rock type move that Agron can get. But since we aren't using the Rock Head ability, we will take recoil from it, so Stone Edge is another really great option to use. And lastly, we are going to be using Earthquake, which is another really great ground type move. Now, I know that this gives you some redundant coverage, which may or may not come in handy since there are a lot of dual types that might not be weak to Stone Edge, but will be weak to Earthquake or something like that. But um, the only other attacks I believe that you can use with Aggron that are of different types are Shadow Claw, uh, Dragon Claw, and um, Brick Break. So th one of those three could be swapped out for any of the other moves in the set, but this is pretty much just to showcase how cool Heavy Bomber is when combined with Heavy Metal on an Aggron. But that is it guys for this video, so I hope you enjoyed these sets. I think they're really great on Aggron, and I'm not just saying that because I made them up, but especially the first one is something that can be really used in this generation, even though it might get predictable over time. But that's it for this video guys, so take care and goodbye.